Hey there, I'm Kim from thrifylittlebob.com and I'm here to show you how to make your own bunting. So you might be wondering like, what kind of things can you use bunting for? Well, I have two purposes for it. One is for parties and gatherings to add some fun decoration, fun flair, and two for actual better decorations. And one thing that I really loved was back in the day when I had baby showers and things, my friends would actually like hand make these cute little bunting things for me, whether it was just, you know, kind of like a, um, rag look or I had the like pom-poms or whatever sort of bunting decorations they would make for my shower I would end up actually using those and incorporating them into my nursery um, so you can actually make this bunting for either a bedroom decoration a boy or girl room um, or for your upcoming party and I like to do it because I like to have a little bit of DIY in the parties that I put together and this just kind of gives me a crafty outlet it's really simple really easy um, even a kid could do it. You just want to watch the high glue gun. So I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how you can make these really quickly and have these adorable bunting for your next get together. So to get started, you just want to find some string that you like that's festive. I like to use these kinds of string. This is a little pack I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and then you want to find the felt that you like. This pink one would be really good for any kind of birthday party, baby shower, or even home decor. You want to note about these stickers. If they're on the front of the felt, that can really jack up the felt. So you want to make sure that the stickers that you find are on the back. And you notice here there's all kinds of different themes of felt that you can find at the craft store. I mean, these would make great Minecraft party parts, camo party. So you can do um, different genders and styles based on all the options that they have. I loved these for the home decor idea, um, in addition to some really cute baby shower felt as well. So you wanna get some cardstock. I have printable bunting templates on thriftylittlemom.com that you can download for free and print yourself. And I have them in three different shapes. So right now I'm gonna be using the triangle, which is kind of the classic uh, bunting. You'll notice that I kind of have this addition at the top for a fold over. We'll show you how that works later. But for now, you just want to cut that whole piece out and trace it with a marker. Onto your felt. Do your best to kind of fit as many triangles as you can on the felt. You know, use up as much as you can. And once you've got those, you just want to cut them out exactly like they are on the bunting so that you make sure that you have that little cut on the side that allows you to fold over the bunting and for the fold over to be hidden behind the felt. I went through and cut out quite a few of these. It really just depends on the size of the space that you're trying to cover. You know, anywhere from like 6 to 10 to 12, maybe 13. Um, having an odd number can help. So I took out my measuring tape and I measured my fireplace and then I measured the string to make sure that it would stretch all the way across the fireplace once I got all my pieces on there. As you can see, I've got my string cut, I've got my hot glue gun, and you have the option of using like a fabric glue if you don't want to use a hot glue gun, but I feel like the stickiness of that is not as going to be as effective and as easy as the hot glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going with 11 because I want the odd number of bunting hangings. It really depends on the space that you're trying to cover. So to get started, I took my string and just folded it in half. And then I took that middle point of the string when it was folded in half and made that my starting point for gluing down my very first piece of bunting. Now, each piece I simply lay right across that thickest part where you see it begin to taper in, and then I lined it with hot glue. This is where you can burn yourself, so just be careful. Be very gentle. You may want to use a popsicle stick or something like that to fold it over so that you don't burn your fingers, but the felt was pretty thick, so I didn't seem to have any problems. It's just really quick and easy with the hot glue. And that little fold over, because it has the little nicks cut in the side, make sure that the felt doesn't show up on the front side. It just makes it a nice clean triangle on the front. See? 
Love it. Let's keep going. We just keep adding them, putting a little bit of space in between each of the triangles. You just wanna make sure that you do leave that space because um, I think that really helps for when you need to hang it, especially if you're gonna end up doing um, a bunting that sort of dips and then um, comes back up and dips and then comes back up almost like in a wave pattern. You know, some people are just gonna hang the bunting and some are gonna kind of hang it in different patterns and things like that and you can play around with it. But at least having a little bit of space gives you the ability to play a little bit. Now I've got them all glued down and I'm really happy with how this came out. This one is so fun that when I was done, I even gave it to my niece to put in her new bedroom. On Thrifty Little Mom, I also have these other two shapes that you can also cut out. They're little templates. Um, one gives you that more like classic bunting and then this one is kind of a fun uh, little triangle on the bottom look to it. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you want more party celebration and gathering ideas that everybody's gonna love, be sure you visit my website, thriftylittlemom.com.